Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm hoping that you all are having a lovely day today. So today we are back at the channel with another house tour and this time we are touring the Thousand Oaks Mansion. So this is the end mansion that I created yesterday, you know, the 40 minute long speed build. <laughs> that video, yeah. So I really wanted to show you this house in a house tour as well because I did find with cutting out so many footage, you didn't really get a feel of how this house really looks when you're playing it with your sim so that's why you're doing this house tour and of course i just love house touring you know me um but yeah let's get started and let me show you everything this house has so much to offer i love it whoa <laughs> first of all yeah sure let me unpause the game and let me show you all how it looks i mean look at this gorgeous gorgeous view here in Brindleton Bay. We have some people flying kite there. That's actually a first time that I ever saw that. <laughs> um, but I just love this world so much and it fits in so perfectly with uh, this house or this house fits perfectly with this world. I actually did showcase a lot of the cats and dogs items for this home. So we have a little pathway leading up to there. We will come to that a little bit later. We also have a pathway uh, that goes into there and two little sheds. Uh, which I will also show you a little bit later but let me first show you all you know the grand entryway so this is the front door or you should set this at your front door I don't know what you like when you play but I would definitely set this as the front door uh, and then when you enter the house you see this first so we have a uh, door here on the right side that leads into the veterinarian office which i will show later and then here we have another door and this leads into the bathroom so this is just a basic bathroom for your sim if it wants to have like guest over for the swimming pool they're swimming they're wet and they want to get a shower before they are you know out the door they can use this bathroom right here it's a full bathroom with a sink toilet kitty litter box of course <laughs> um a shower and a bathtub so this is the guest bedroom bathroom and this is the first room that you will see when you walk through the door then when you go through here we have the staircase that leads up into the second floor which we will go later um here also some of the uh other rooms but let me go here on the left first so when you go through the left you actually enter the family room um, there are some balls stinking there <laughs> i've been play testing this for a few for a few days now so yeah i don't know why that's there but anyways um this is the kitchen I love the kitchen. It's so very spacious and large. And I love, oh my gosh, there's kitty cats. Oh, kitty. Oh, I miss her so much. But yeah, anyways, this is the kitchen. And I, what I love about the kitchen is I added in a little nook right here for, you know, uh, in between cooking <laughs> you can well, work on the computer a bit it's something that i do here at home when i'm you know busy cooking and sometimes you need to wait like 30 minutes before you can get it out of the oven and then you know i don't want to go upstairs to the office and i take my 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 tablet and i will sit in the in the in the kitchen and i will wait and watch movies and such and um, but i just like the little working desk you can have like recipes there and such if your your sim really likes cooking i like that little idea so i definitely love this kitchen it's so spacious we have a bar we have a very large dining table and what i also love is the kitchen is very open to the main living room so this is the living room the family room um the television is here just really like this room it looks really cozy there's a very large television there a large console thingy you know for lots of storage um and then when you turn around there is a little play area for the kids right here and then also another dining table so i imagine the family using this tiny dining table for for when they're just you know just the family and then when they are having like a dinner party or you know the grandparents are coming around i think they would use this table more this is definitely more a fancy fancy party table and then the other table there is cozy 
family dinner table or even you know eat at the bar also something that i think your sims would do and then also you know when you go through here there's another door and this door actually leads into a outdoor eating area so i added in a barbecue here so you know when it, maybe uh mommy is barbecuing uh the kids can sit here and drink some lemonade or maybe make their homework outside what is my sim doing there i actually moved in my sim self uh oh i'm swinging okay well <laughs> anyways uh i have been play testing this for quite a bit oh and there's london london is just standing here on the porch hi london how are you doing yeah i don't know where she's going where she's going probably some mischievous things but anyways this is connected here with uh the parking lot and the parking lot i i really like how it looks i at first i thought let's do like an indoor garage again but because this is a mansion with a veterinarian practice i thought a, a outdoor parking lot would suit it better and then when you go through here i have the outdoor bins right there and then the two little sheds so one of the sheds right here is for the handyman and the idea behind this is you know these are sheds that only the help uses the family never goes in here so we have all the handyman uh, um you know uh tools here with the woodworking table the pumping pumpkin carving station when you turn around lots of clutter uh, and then you turn around and you're like hmm there's a world globe there why is there a beverage drink uh, holder there? You know, why is that there? And then when you turn a little bit more, you have the uh, dart, <laughs> the dart board there. And then here we actually have a poker table. So like I said in the speed build, I created this little shed, especially for the help to have some fun, to relax and unwind when the family is not at home. And then when you go across, uh, there's another shed. And this is just a normal working shed for the um, gardener. So there's a flower arranging table. You know, there's lots of little little clutter items i added in this toddler thingy i think it's a cooler and then here i also have like an old plantern that the, the gardener might use so that's basically the two little sheds and then the living room and kitchen area so let's jump right back into the hallway and we're gonna move over to the other rooms on the right side okay guys we are now back in the hallway and let's move all over all over <laughs> let's move over to this section of the house and i'm gonna show you um the laundry room because the laundry room is right here in this little door so for the laundry room i kept it really simple and basic it's just a corridor like laundry room went with blue tones and grayish grayish gray gray colors <laughs> oh my gosh um and yeah i just kept it really simple but it looks really cute i love the tiling on the floor i wanted to do something a little bit different there and then with all of the laundry baskets oh my gosh my sim really needs to do some laundry um right there in the corner so that is the laundry room so let's go back into this hallway i mean look at how cute this hallway is I really like the hallway and then going back inside here we have a entertainment room so this entertainment room i imagine my sims using when uh probably when it's a little bit colder out you know they don't want to sit outside in the cold uh, but you know they don't want to go home yet and uh, they can entertain their guests here so we have a grand piano right here with a gorgeous view um, we have a very large and spacious uh, bar area with lots and lots of drinks. And then for a warming up by the fireplace, we actually have uh, this section right here. <laughs> so you can see the fire roaring. I love how that looks. Um, so going back outside, because I haven't shown you all my favorite part of this mansion. And that's actually the backyard. The backyard looks gorgeous so when you go through this door right here um, you have the backyard so i added in a bubble blower because i love the bubble blower and we also have uh, a little seating area right there uh, when you go through here 
I added in a, um, oh my gosh, <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Let's go back. I added in a swimming pool. So there are lounge beds here, which will be the final time that I will ever do that. Oh my gosh, Mona. Uh, let me pen up. It's not going that great, the house tour. <laughs> but yeah, there's this swimming pool right here. Um, I added in a jacuzzi. Um, there's a little seating area here so you can swim from there to here. And then you can go down here and sit and enjoy, uh, just enjoy life basically. I mean, you don't have that much scenery right here, but I think it's still very, uh, very just fun sitting here and relaxing. And then when you go back here, there's another part. And this is where the backyard area is with all the play stuff, uh, where all the family is now gathering. <laughs> like everyone is in the backyard. How cute is that? Um, so yeah, let's go through here. So I added in a little seating area there again with a uh, lemonade pitcher from the backyard stuff pack. Uh, also a table and chair from that pack. It looks really nice for especially these tra traditional homes. And then going down here, we have the backyard where all of the fun is happening. I think they're having a... Uh, yeah, they're playing water balloons and look at all the cats <laughs> and the dog Coco with her little friends they're playing around um, I really really like the backyard so as you can see the backyard has a swing set there's a little pool there is a uh, laundry let me pause the game because they're throwing me off <laughs> I like I'm, I'm looking at them all the time there's a um, clothing line so that you can uh, hang up your clothes and I really like that I mean look I'm just gonna go up and then you can really look at how this this backyard looks I think it looks really nice um, and this is definitely my favorite part of the house. So when you go back to the front of the house, so, you know, I showed you all the kitchen area and the back. There's a little section of uh, the front that you haven't seen. And that is this right here. So I added in a little pathway here that you can walk up. So a little pathway right here. And this leads actually into the uh, veterinarian office. So there's also a vet office. Um, because again, this is cats and dogs, this is Brindleton Bay, and I wanted to utilize as much of the cats and dogs items. And I found it fun to add in my own little vet area. So there's a waiting room right here. There's the station where you can sign in your pet. Um, here you can grab a magazine and just sit here and wait until, you know, your cat called in. Um, the vending machine is empty because I haven't really used it yet. And then when you go through the double doors, you come into the vet office. So this is the area where the veterinarian would probably do a little bit more research. You know, all of the paperwork. It's right here on the little desk area. Here we have some of the tools that the vet is probably using. You know, some doggy snacks or cat treats. Um cotton balls and such <laughs> and then here we have the actual examining table uh, where you can examine your pets if you want to so i think this is a really cute addition to the house and then when you go back here into the double door it actually takes you back into the hallway <laughs> what are they doing here I don't know, they, they just had a meeting in the hallway. And then leads you back here into, you know, the, 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 the laundry room, the backyard, the entertainment room, the kitchen, and the living room. And then here, when you go up, you have the second floor. So the second floor right here, the first thing that you can see is these three doors. Um, yeah, so lots and lots of doors. And then um, there's a landing right here, so you can sit here in this little corner. Um, there's also a little seating area right here. And there's also a staircase leading up. So let me show you this section real quick before we go, go into the bedrooms. Oh my gosh, Mona. Let me do it properly. So we have a little bedroom right here and I actually created this for the butler. <laughs> I found, you know, I, I always have a butler in house, either a butler or a nanny and I don't, didn't want to make a room for them. 
on the second floor because I was utilizing all the rooms and we had a little bit of space here so I thought let's just put the butler here in the attic you know he gets his own little uh, dresser he has a own mirror and when you walk through here you know we have our <laughs> all of our junk stored away for Christmas so yeah this is the butler's bedroom just you know a little little area for him or her um, and then let's Let's go through here first. So when you go here, we have three doors. So the first door, this one right here, is just a plain old bathroom. So a bathroom for the kids to use, double sink, walk and shower, and a tub. Really basic. And then when you go through here and go through this door, I actually created this for um, grandma. So this is a guest bedroom for the in-laws or for you know for your mother your father um grandma and grandpa who are staying over they can use this that's why i went with these really traditional colors so yeah this is how it looks when you're laying in bed as a sim <laughs> really cute and very spacious definitely a right size for guests so when you cross the hall there's another room and this leads into the kids bedroom so this bedroom is designed by Sadie this is all her doing she uh, insisted on having a puppet area right here um, these are also all the colors that she chose I really like this this is a really cute little little bedroom um, there is a computer here with a, or a laptop area for the kids and a double bed because Sadie said that um, maybe Selena would like to sleep in her bedroom so that's why we have a double bed situation here in the kids bedroom and then also a wardrobe right there so yeah this is the kids bedroom so let me go back in here let me cross the hallway because there are two no three more doors here so let's go here because there's actually a door hidden away right here in the corner and that's the nursery so the nursery um again i created uh with sadie she helped me out with this one as well so she really liked these paintings over here she loved the lion <laughs> and the cactus as well she's actually been painting cactuses quite recently i don't know why um but yeah i love the the bed uh color combination right here adding a little bit of the toddler stuff and the first pet stuff i created here an own an, a little changing table and we have a bassinet so yeah just the basic but very cute looking nursery and then when you cross over here we have the master bedroom so the master bedroom let me zoom out um, has a very large area for changing clothes right here um, and also a large mirror here a large mirror there so you know <laughs> you can definitely check out your outfits um, here we have the bed area um, there's also a door here that leads into uh, a balcony area as you can see so you can sit here and enjoy a little bit of the scenery, which I think is really, really nice. Um, so going back through here and then here we have a archway that leads into the bathroom. So the bathroom really spacious. There's a toilet, large mirror, double sink and a bathtub. And then when you go through here, there's actually a sauna, which I love. I love using the sauna for the sauna woohoo. <laughs> I just like woohoo in this game. So the sauna was uh, a must. And then here we have another little nook. And that's the walk-in shower area so let's go back here let's go back into the bedroom area and i went with very you know very i don't know the color palette but i, I really liked that aubergine kind of color right here on the bed and i just tried to match it throughout the entire bedroom with with grays and greens uh, so going back through here there's a final bedroom that i need to show you all and that is actually a very very large bedroom 
and that's the teen girl's bedroom. This is every teen girl's dream. Um, and you can see right off the bat with the posters, this girl wants to be a veterinarian when she grows up. She wants to be like her parents. So I love the bedroom. I created this, um, you know, with definitely a teen girl in mind. I had actually my daughter in mind. These aren't necessarily her colors. But I did set it up, you know, like she probably would have done with, you know, nail polish there, uh, a tray of stuff <laughs> here in the corner, a little reading nook that would never ever would be used. Um, the computer area where she would always sit, like 24 seven, she would sit here. Um, and then some cute little plants. And I love that this is also a double ceiling high office area for her to use. Um, a very large wardrobe and then here we have another door and that leads into a bathroom. So she has her own ensuite bathroom, very very handy when you're having a teen girl in your house because they tend to stay in the bathroom for way too long. So let's go back in here, let's go you know back through there. <laughs> Let's exit the normal way. Let's go back through here. Coco is still standing there in the hallway. And then when you go through here, you know, you exit the house. Or you exit the house. And that is actually the entire house tour. So let me unpause the game again so that you can see everything in action. So I'm hoping that you all enjoyed this little house tour. Um, let me pan over it real quick. And you can actually see this entire house in motion. Uh, also, let me give you a floor plan. So this is the basement level. This is the second floor. This is the first floor. And there is no uh, basement. That's it. Oh, and there was not the basement. I'm sorry. This is the attic. The attic level you know <laughs> so sorry i get my get my words mixed up so i'm hoping that you all enjoyed this little house tour let me know again in the comments down below what you thought about the house and which house should i tour next uh which mansion did you have in mind let me know uh down below and maybe i will pick that next so i'm hoping that you all are having an awesome awesome sunday wherever you are and hopefully i will see you all in the next one bye bye Thank <laughs> you.